So check this out. These things in my mouth are called teeth and it turns out we've been using them all wrong. Kind of. See, the very first teeth in Earth's history weren't in the mouths and they weren't even for eating. They were for feeling. See, around 465 million years ago, the oceans were full of jawless armored fish like Ereptichius, covered in these bony plates. And on those plates were tooth-like structures called odontodes. Now, for decades, scientists thought that these were just primitive teeth, but new research just flipped the script. Using high-resolution synchrotron scans and fluorescent protein tagging, complicated stuff, researchers discovered that these structures weren't chewing tools. They were actually made of dentine, yes, the same stuff we have in our teeth, but they were wired into nerves. These weren't biting surfaces, they were sensory organs. Yep, these ancient armored fish had skin that could feel. Pressure, vibrations, currents. Imagine a prehistoric fish in a dangerous sea wearing a suit of armor that doubled as a full body radar system. And then there's Anatolopus. See, for years it was hailed as the earliest fossil fish, the owner of Earth's first tooth. But when scientists rescanned it, they found a twist. It turns out it wasn't a vertebrae at all, it was an arthropod. And those teeth, well, they were nearly identical to the sensor found in modern crabs and horseshoe crabs, tiny sensors in the shell used to detect their environments. This right here is convergent evolution, two totally different creatures, fish and arthropods, evolving similar tools for the same job, sensing the world around them through their skin. So what about actual vertebrates? Well, fossils from the Ordovician show that fish like Ereptichius had true dentine-based odontodes with open pulp cavities, big dentine tubules, and no enameloid caps. They were exposed to the water, meaning they were still likely not being used to chew, but to sense. But still, we're getting something similar to what we have, teeth. And even today, modern sharks and catfish have similar structures in their skin, dermal denticles, and they're still connected to nerves. So here's the real kicker. Teeth didn't start in the mouth. They were borrowed from the skin, recruited over time as jaws evolved. That's the outside in theory, and this study supports it. So next time you get that icy shock from cold water hitting your nerve, just remember your teeth evolved from armor, armor that could feel the ocean long before it ever chewed it. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, share, follow, and I'll see you in the next one.